As the pacification of Karamoja sub-region progresses, the UPDF recently recovered 273 AK-47 guns from Kato Rasolas. Looking at them, you may think they are not uh, functioning, like this one which I'm holding. For decades, the Rasolas have been the leading cause of the instability in the region. The guns were recovered during the ongoing Usalama Kwawote operation that has led to the arrest of 150 suspected Kato Rasolas. And we have been able to recover a very large number of firearms that are handed over uh, voluntarily by people who have now denounced criminality. The 3rd Division Infantry Commander in Moroto District, Major General Don Navasa, explains the purpose and success of the operation. Salama Kwawote has brought relative peace, as I mentioned earlier, to Kanamuja sub-region. Uh, yet challenges remain, uh, particularly regarding uh, cross-border raids, uh, as well as professional small arms, the management of reformed warriors. Since the inception of the operation of Usalama Kwawote, in 2021, over 500,000 jerrycans of locally brewed waraji have been impounded from various dealers. The waraji was a key contributor to the increased raids in Karamoja, where warriors pretend to be enjoying while actually uh, planning for raids. It was observed that when waraji is taken, one's judgment uh, uh, tends to, a person tends to, give, to get false confidence that he can do anything. And uh, this one we have, uh, we have uh, evidence because we have recovered the waraji and dry ratio in the pockets of warriors who are killed in the, in the, front, in the front lines of the, of the raid. Although the operation has reduced on criminality and the number of guns in the hands of the cattle rustlers, the influx of armed pastoralists from Kenya and Ethiopia has frustrated the disarmament program. This including the proposal that I mentioned from South Sudan, Turkana from Kenya, West Pokot, even some arms are brought by, 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 by the Turkana from, from Ethiopia. Therefore, it is not something you can wake up and say, I've given myself one month, for one year, I must get rid of all the firearms and put a stop to proliferation of small arms. Why? The border is so porous. Anybody can, anybody can enter from anywhere, as and when. Apart from reducing the worried trade, the disarmament operation has reduced other illicit businesses like charcoal trade. Karamoja sub-region observed that charcoal burning and trade was facilitating raids. Raiders could mix with charcoal burners and disguise as charcoal burners while in wait for their raid missions. It was agreed that the responsible government agents like NFA, local leaders, district security committees be engaged for joint and charcoal operations and mobilization which has been ongoing. This one has really uh, been a very critical point, especially a facilitation. You find someone is in the bush burning charcoal, he has his gun in the suka inside, but you, you, you can't differentiate. Then in the evening, they have just raided near that charcoal burning area. Then you ask, we had deployment, how did these people pass? Kumbe, the people are just within the... Uh, the, the, the... Usalama Kuwait operation has gradually registered some success since 2021. So far, 1,170 guns have been recovered, 9,217 ammunition recovered, 53,253 livestock have been recovered, 29,321 suspected cattle rustlers have been arrested, and 2,091 suspected cattle rustlers have been prosecuted. UPDF soldiers regularly go through training drills to adequately prepare for sudden attacks and ambushes by the armed warriors. Becca Senyonga Mlinde.